Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Linda Miyopo Show. Happy New Year. I hope your, near, your year has started well. Mine has started very well. I'm blessed. You know, with the new year, everybody sets goals. Some people set resolutions. What did you set? And how are your goals going? Have you set short-term, mid-long-term goals already? I want to encourage you to do that. And another thing I want to encourage you to do as well is to journal your thoughts. It's very important to journal your thoughts because you look back maybe a month later, six months, a year, or three years later, and you see the challenges that you've overcome and you're like, wow, I have overcome all these challenges. So try and start journaling your thoughts and whatever goals you've set, I hope you'll be able to achieve it. Actually, the, the most important thing is the way you can actually achieve your goals is to get somebody to work with you. So you get a mentor or a coach to help you because they will just hold your hand and guide you along in whatever you're doing. If you're joining me for the first time, thank you so much for coming. Why not send the, send the, um, the link to all your friends, get out your phone and send them. The Linda Miyovo Show is going on live right now. Or you can watch it later if you're streaming or you're watching on um, YouTube later on. Welcome and thank you so much. The show is here all because of you. And I hope today you'll be inspired because I am so excited to talk to my guest today. You know, all my guests that come to my show are just normal people just like you and me. You know, they're just normal people just like you and me. But you know what the difference is? The difference is they did not allow their past to hold them back. They did not allow the challenges to hold them back. They overcame those challenges. They forgave. And now they're walking in their purpose. They're offering services. They have set up businesses. They're making impact. And they're planning to leave a legacy. So I encourage you. Whatever it is that is holding you back, get in touch with us. All the details are at the bottom of the screen and we can help you. I'm so excited to be talking to my guest today. Oh, I am so excited because you know what? We all get stressed one way or the other and I know stress is not a very good thing. And today with me in the studio to help us understand stress and also to share her story of how she overcame stress and what she's now actually doing to help people who have, you know, who have maybe overcome stress or are still stressed in their workplaces. Help me welcome Susie Sefer. Hello, Susie. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Linda. Good, good, good. Yeah. It's good to have you here. Oh, I'm so <laughs> blessed to be here. <laughs> Susie thank is you. a mindset and transformation coach and trainer. And an NLP and Mindfulness Master Practitioner with 27 years, over 27 years background in nursing and midwifery and public health. So you have acquired a lot of knowledge, a lot of skills. I think so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but what you're here today mm -hmm. to talk to us about is about stress. And you're also a baker, aren't you? You yes. bake some very nice cakes. Yeah, that's my passion. We are going to talk about that later on as well. Okay. So, Susie, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Linda, for having me. How has the new year begun for you? Uh, the new year has been very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, because I've started off, I set myself some goals, mm -hmm. and I think I've started um, achieving some of them already. Wonderful. So it's very good. It's Wonderful. Short-term goals, long-term goals? I have some long-term goals, mm -hmm. and I have... I have Long-term, medium-term, and short-term goals, mm -hmm. and I've achieved some of the short-term goals. Wonderful. So, so you're going to help our viewers as well how you've achieved, achieved some of the short-term goals, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> talk through some of the goals. <laughs> but I think today we are going to talk mainly about um, stress. Okay. Okay. Mm. Because I know stress is something that affects a lot of people. Yeah, we all go through stress. We all do. do. Yeah. Whether at work or at home, we all do go In our have lives. some kind of stress. It's something we cannot get rid of. It's no. something. It's, it's part of us. It is. So yeah. So tell me, mm -hmm. what is it that was stressed out in you? Well, let me let me just put it this way: stress is just our natural response mm -hmm. to something that, to a danger mm -hmm. in our, in that we anticipate or expect or kind of see, mm -hmm. or something that we perceive to be a threat. 
right. so it can be a physical threat or it can be something that we have at the back of our minds thinking that oh this is a, da a danger or a perceived mm -hmm. threat to us and it's our response to it or how we re react to it that is stress. Okay. So, so in my own life well i can say that my health has been quite stressful okay. in the past few years. <laughs> so that is where... They said health is wealth, right? Health is wealth. <laughs> health is wealth, yes. And my health, I mean, I, I, I used to see myself as a very healthy person. Mm -hmm. And I ate well, did most of the exercises. Mm -hmm. And I don't smoke, I don't drink. So I saw myself as a very, very healthy person mm -hmm. until 2014 okay. when everything kind of changed or started to change. All right. And since that time, I've really um, gone through stress. So what, what happened in 2000? 2014, I woke up with a swollen knee. Uh -huh. My right knee was like a football it was very big swollen and something you've ne never suffered from before never okay painful but prior to that i kept going to the doctors because i used to go for a walk every morning with mm -hmm. my husband and it got to a point that i get up in the morning get out of bed and my legs would be so painful mm -hmm. that i couldn't even kind of stand straight mm -hmm. so i started saying to my husband, oh, you go for the walk and I'll do mine later on in mm -hmm. the day. And I'll struggle through my day with the pain. And then this right knee got swollen. And I went to see the doctors. And then later on, um, okay, they gave me some medication. Then a few months later, the left knee also got swollen. And the kneecap, you know your kneecap yeah. right here. Anytime I stood up, it was as if the kneecap was shifting to oh, the side. Oh, no. Yes. That must have really been painful. <laughs> it was painful. Oh, no. It was really painful, very uncomfortable. Mm. And my mobility was affected. Because of course. Now, both knees. Both knees. <laughs> <laughs> Two babies. <laughs> Nothing to support you. <laughs> well, two babies to look after. Uh -huh. And it was, it was quite hard. Mm, I can imagine. Because I had a full-time job. Mm hmm I'm a mom, mm -hmm. a wife, mm -hmm. and all these, I call them labels. Now, now I, can, I can sit here comfortably Come and the call way. them labels. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good thing with reflection, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, and you can talk myself, about it with even a smile on your face. Precisely. Mm. Seeing myself as a working mother, mm -hmm. and at the time, my daughter, my youngest daughter had just started secondary school. Okay. And so at least they were old enough to take care of themselves. Somehow. Yeah, yeah somehow. But you still need to be there as a mother. <laughs> and uh -huh. I used to give her a lift to school. Mm -hmm. And if I finish work early, I pick her up mm -hmm. from school. So we had that going and it was quite nice. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed doing it. and she enjoyed You have it some mother well. and daughter bonding time as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And it got to a point that when my legs started hurting, mm -hmm. um, I reduced my hours at work. And then eventually I resigned from work. And I had to forgo doing that as well, mm -hmm. taking my daughter, to, my daughter to school. Yeah. And sometimes she goes to school in the morning, she'll just pop her head through the door and say, oh, see you later, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Also, you're not going to pick me. Are you not taking me to school today? Oh. You can't pick me up. And I'm just taking a deep breath and think, oh, okay, maybe one day I'll be able to You'll do that. You'll be able to do that again, yeah. And she comes back from school sometimes, and I'll still be You're in still bed. in bed, yeah. And she'll be like, Mommy, have you been out today? Oh, okay, how are you? How is your leg? Or sometimes I can hear her trying to maybe open the door slightly in order not to disturb mm -hmm. me. And that was really hard because I, I was thinking about all the time we, like, all the lovely times we spent together. together. Yeah. And now I can't do anything mm. as a mother. So what and happened then? Well, just <laughs> one day I woke up and I was staring at the boxes of medication on the table. That you were taking? So they had prescribed a lot table. of medication? There was, I was taking something for gout because they told me it was gout okay. in my legs. 
in my knees. So I was looking at the medication for gout. Mm -hmm. I was looking at all the painkillers. Mm -hmm. I was taking some medication for iron, some iron tablets mm -hmm. as well because my iron dropped some time back. Of course. Back. Yeah. And I was taking medication for my blood pressure. So I looked at all the boxes that you're of taking. medication on the table. To maintain your life. I know this thing. <laughs> and suddenly, the pain in my, in my heart, in my chest, was even worse than the pain in my legs. I was thinking, what is going on? I am not able to go back to work. So you had been signed of work? Yeah, I resigned. You, you resigned? Okay. I resigned from mm -hmm. work. I can't even move around and do things normally as a mother. Mm. And this Am started I... just from nowhere. There was no indication. Nope. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, because you're a nurse, do you think maybe because of standing too much in the ward or being on your feet for long you know hours what, could have I contributed think... to that? Probably, the, Probably yeah. those things could have contributed. Mm. But I cannot understand why those things happened. Mm. One of the things that my GP said was maybe because I was on the blood pressure tablet, that could have um, caused somehow, it, yeah. Yeah, somehow, caused mm. it, the gout. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what they said in mm -hmm. the end. So you and definitely then, had gout, that was what they I told I had gout, okay. that's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Whether that was true or not, I don't know. But I had gout and I was taking medication for mm -hmm. it. And all these thoughts were going through my mind. Am I ever going to be able to walk oh. again? Am I going to be able to go out with my family to enjoy things that, that we used to do together? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be able to function properly? Where, now that I'm not working, where is the money going to come from to pay all these yeah, bills? Yeah, because you don't want to put I... a lot of burden on your husband as well, isn't it? And it was, it was quite hard. And all these things were going on in my head. How long, how long was it for? The whole of 2014? I mean, we, uh, where are we now? 2019. Yeah. So... I've had that yeah, going since 2014, okay. and it's been on and off. Okay. And then, apart from the gout, they said I have arthritis okay. as well. And sometimes, all my joints, like my ankles, my knees, my wrists, my hips, will be swollen. But do you know the funny and, thing is, somebody mm, looking at you now, somebody watching the program, yeah. and looking at you right now and saying, are you really sure you suffered from all that? Maybe if you have a nice smile. <laughs> Nice no, because <laughs> looking at you and you're trying to describe everything that you've been through. It's by God's grace. It is. It is it by is. God's grace. So how are you feeling right now? Now I feel good. I feel good. I mean, Christmas Day, mm. I was in bed because <laughs> I had a flare-up. <laughs> My legs were swollen mm. and they were very painful. But after that, I mean, I've kind of gradually... Um, Given better. Yeah, I'm, and I'm reduce your medication better. as well? Oh, I don't take regular painkillers anymore. What unless the, the pain is bad. I don't take painkillers regularly. Like Christmas Day when my legs were really bad, mm -hmm. I had to take painkillers. Okay. I'm, so you I'm, take I'm, it as and when? Yeah. I don't like medicines. I know, no one <laughs> I does. I have to take them. <laughs> no one does. I don't like taking no medicines. No one does. Oh, Susie. So, yeah. And, well. I so how would you relate that to stress? Yeah, how that is related, how I relate that to stress mm. is that all the, like, emotionally, I was thinking about all these things. Mm -hmm. And how you are thinking also affects the way you're feeling. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And the things you do. As a man thinking in his heart? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking about all these things going on around me. Mm -hmm. Plus the fact that if you have gout, there are certain foods you cannot eat. Okay. Or you have to limit your the intake amount. of those foods. Mm -hmm. But going back a bit, um, I also had low iron from fibroid. Yes. So it was like, you have to take iron-rich foods, mm -hmm. and you also have to make sure you cut down on iron-rich foods. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a real balance, real balance of everything. Because the foods that will give you iron, mm -hmm. most of them will also bring on the pain. Oh, no. So it was a matter of trying to actually... Getting the right proportion. Choose my foods wisely. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, Linda, some days I'll just stay at home and not eat because I was that afraid mm. to eat. 
Because I was thinking... Of triggering all the pain. Yeah, the pain. Yeah. In case you eat this and it brings on the pain, mm -hmm. or in case you miss that and that happens. Mm -hmm. So I started researching. And I will read and read and read and read and read. Because and now you had, people. though you were in pain, you had spare time to do some research oh, and yes. understand what exactly Too you were Too much doing. time. And they said knowledge <laughs> is power. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll read and talk to people and I'll just look at the list. Because what, what, what happened was when I saw the GP, mm -hmm. they gave me this list. Oh, try to avoid these things. And these were the same people who gave me a list on things to help yeah. me with the iron. <laughs> And if also they said to me, oh, don't try not to stand or sit for too long. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I was thinking, okay, I don't have to sit or stand for too long. Right. That maybe I can do for the bed is there. If I, well, it, 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 come, it, it kind of came naturally to yes. me. Anytime I had the pain, I went to bed. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't standing or sitting too long. But I was thinking, are you coming to live with me? So... <laughs> all the chores in the house <laughs> it's a lot and to take in isn't it it is a lot to take in and also what, what, thinking that somebody working full-time holding down a full-time mm. job running the home doing all the things that and now all do. of a sudden and all of a sudden because our legs we carry us wherever we yeah. want to go and my legs couldn't do that plus i've got all these labels put on me mm. okay you have this you have that you have that and somehow, you know, when somebody says something to you, it plays on your mind. It does, it does. And all along, you're thinking about it. Oh, I have this, so I have to mm. be that. I have to, because I have this, I have to do X, Y, and Z. So you're thinking, it's affecting you, your emotions, and then you're doing, mm -hmm. certain, you're doing certain things. Yes. So it, it became... Um, <sighs> a burden, kind of? A bad, yeah, mm. a burden. Me. Did, was that the, um, what led you now to do the course? To understand it right. properly and how that it was, can also help you? That was, it came, it came, <laughs> it came later. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, okay, I, I mentioned that um, sometimes I'd be at home and I was even being, I was afraid to eat. Mm. And when you're not eating. And you're on just, medication. You're on medication. Mm. You're tired. Absolutely. And sometimes you go to bed. You cannot sleep because you're hungry. Your body hasn't <laughs> functioned properly. Yeah. And then you wake up in the morning and guess what? You are a mom. You need to so do. you have to function like a yeah. mom. But and you're in so much pain, isn't it? You're in so much pain. You are in pain. And it's two things. You are in pain. The, the family expects you to play the role of a mother, mm -hmm. although you are in pain mm -hmm. and they know that you're not well. Mm -hmm. And you are also thinking, you're feeling guilty yeah. because you're not able to function yeah. like a mother and do all the things oh. you have to do. So all those things were playing on my in your thinking, mind. my emotions and everything. But what, the, the, the course that you asked me about earlier on, um, I was at home one day and I received this email mm -hmm. from one of the companies. And it was about an NLP course, a free day. Mm -hmm. And the way it was advertised, <laughs> I was thinking, okay, I have my cake business at home, so I can go on this course and maybe it will help me to promote myself better. Of course. Or get more sales or uh, yeah. however I would like to use it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing anything, anything at home, mm -hmm. so I guess out of boredom, really. You're attending the curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't think it's boredom. Because with, uh, of all the pain, the pain that you were suffering mm. and also feeling a little bit despondent and thinking, mm. okay, I can't provide really for my family and I need mm. to do something. Mm. So you decided to enroll on the course to understand better. I, I guess. And how maybe you yeah, could help was, people, isn't it? I was it? curious. You used that word. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was curious. Mm. And I went. Mm -hmm. I went for the day. And that was, I would say, the, the turning point for me because... When I went, I met a lot of different people and it was nice. Mm. <laughs> I enjoyed it. You forgot about the <laughs> I'm a social person. So <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. It was a nice day out for me. Mm. And then they started talking about what NLP is. And I realized, okay, I can use it in my business. 
and I think there are aspects that I can use on myself. Mm -hmm. So after the event, I had a chat with the people who um, ran it. Yeah, Joe Wilson and Andy Coley. Mm. So I had a chat. I, I actually had a chat with Andy. Mm. Find out more about the course. And he said, oh, this is how it runs. And I said, well, I have this knee problem mm -hmm. that I don't want to be standing or sitting for too long. So can you tell me if this is not going to affect me? Mm. And he went, oh, no, you don't, we don't do any standing or sitting for too long. So if you want more information, just give me a ring and yeah. we can chat. Mm -hmm. And I think for about two or three uh, different, on three or two or three different occasions, I rang him and we'll be on the phone and Just chat. chatting. <laughs> it's good when somebody has the telling time, me, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Telling me about the cause mm. and how it can help me. And he kind of put things into perspective, perspective for me. Because he said, I know you mentioned you have your knee um, problem mm. and you have a business as well, which you think you're going to use mm -hmm. it for. So if it's not going to help with your business, do you want to try and see if it can help you As manage the pain? So I started to think, okay, if it can help me, then maybe it's worth considering. Try. Of course. <laughs> So and you enrolled for the course? I, I enrolled for the course. I enrolled for the practitioner course, mm -hmm. the first part of it. And it was really, really nice. Mm. I enjoyed it. At least you had something that you get out of the house? Yes. Uh -huh. Interact and with people? Interact with people. Mm -hmm. And also, it, it, it gave me um, a different perspective of my own self, of the world. And how I kind of look at things. Mm. So from there, I thought, well, self discovery. This is not the, is not the end for me. <laughs> I went to and did the master practitioner, mm -hmm. and that gave me like okay, together with the practitioner. So I came well equipped with a toolbox. And after the training, I was thinking, good job. So I have been in this situation. Mm -hmm. And I've realized that this can help me look at things differently. And one other thing that we did on the course, which is called modeling, and they give you like a few weeks to find somebody. You, you have to model excellence okay. in somebody. Mm -hmm. So guess what I did? What did you do? I modeled pay, managing pay. Okay. <laughs> because that was my biggest headache. Mm -hmm. So I modeled somebody and how they manage their pain. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily using medication. Mm -hmm. We don't cut out medication. But we have a lot of resources within ourselves. Absolutely. Which we don't we actually don't, tap don't. into. Yeah. Because I think the, so, the first thing, anytime anyone experiences pain, any, mm -hmm. any form of kind of disability or anything, you run to the GP and the GP prescribes yeah. medication and you just start taking it, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So I modeled pain, managing mm. pain. And... The, the modeling itself wasn't as fun for me as me trying it on myself. <laughs> and kind of getting the result. Mm. Because you have to talk to your unconscious mind. And we all, it's the language we use for ourselves. Oh, I can't do this. And I, I don't have to, um, I'm not able to do yeah. this. And I don't have this. I don't have this ability. We kind of tell ourselves that whatever you tell the brain, the brain also helps oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it will. Yeah. It will. So you're talking to your unconscious mind, programming it mm -hmm. in a way. Telling your unconscious mind you can't do something. Your unconscious mind will also give you all the reasons. and That reasons you can't do. Why you can't do something. <laughs> <laughs> but if you tell yourself, I can, I can do, do this. That's why they say the words that come after the word I yeah. is very important. Very, very, very important. Very, important. Yeah. very, very mm. important. And an aspect of it was to do with, um, like, t talking to your unconscious mind, programming it. There is a bit of meditation mm -hmm. in that as well. Because for me, as a Christian, I use prayer. Mm -hmm. And I believe that communicating with my father, God, That's help. helps me. Mm -hmm. So what I, what I, how I used mine was just to use prayer. And in the form of the prayer, I'll talk to my unconscious mm -hmm. mind. Um, and I found this... Um, really great um, meditation by Wayne Dyer okay. on YouTube and it's 
I am. Because when God, you know when Moses went to God, mm -hmm. when, when Moses went to the burning bush, and he said, who are you? Says, and God I said, am I, I am. am. I am. So how Wendaya uses it, he says, God says, I am. Mm -hmm. I am is my name. So if you are trusting God, God says we are made in his, in his nature. Image, yeah. So if you are trusting God and you, you see yourself as the image of God, mm -hmm. then put whatever you expect to happen after that. So I printed out all the things I expect, and that is how I used it. I used this kind of meditation. So you really started working on yourself. So despite the fact that you were in pain, mm. despite the fact that um, you felt you were not actually participating as a mother, mm -hmm. as a wife, mm. and you had actually resigned from your job, so there's actually no income. Mm. So we are, we are thinking now, what are we going to do? Yeah, what are we going to do? Yeah. Time is against <laughs> us. You have to run fast. Run. So what offer do you have for our, um, our viewers today? Oh, they, okay. I offer one hour free coaching to everybody because I think it's very, very important. Mm -hmm. Even before you engage with somebody, that is my thinking anyway, they have to know about you mm -hmm. because I would love, some, I would love to um, know more about somebody before going into a relationship okay. with them. So I offer one hour free coaching too. Everybody. Okay. So, you listen. Susie. Susie's offering one hour free coaching. Get in touch. Susie's details are all at the bottom. And she'll offer you an hour coaching. So, if you're in kind of stressful situation in work or at home, please do get in touch with Susie and she'll be able to, you know, help you. She is, she is very good. Susie is very good in what she does. And her approach as well. I mean, you've watched her. She's very calm. Her approach is very calm and with Thank also you. the professional knowledge. Thank you. It's, it's a shame that we're not going to get time to talk about the cake mm -hmm. and everything, but Susie did bake a cake. She wanted to come and promote it as well. Um, and some scones as well. The cake is absolutely beautiful. So if you want some cake as well, please do contact Susie and she can bake you some cakes. I would like to end the show with a quote. And the quote I like, it says, it's not the Lord that breaks you down. It's the way you carry it. So whatever stressful situation that you're going through, carry it properly. But most importantly, get in touch with a professional to help you how to carry it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And until next time, I wish you all the best for the new year. And God bless you. If you not say this year, I got better for you. Say amen. Amen. SMJ on the Say amen. 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 Amen.